Now let us discuss about factors affecting evaporation. So what are the different factors which affect, which affect evaporation? So here we are going to discuss about the four factors which mainly affect the rate of evaporation. That is if we increase these factors or decrease these factors, what is the effect of evaporation due to these changes in these factors? So the four factors which affect the rate of evaporation are surface area, temperature, humidity and wind speed. Now let us discuss briefly about them. Firstly, surface area. So evaporation increases with increase of surface area. So if we increase the surface area of any substance, then the evaporation of it also increases. As evaporation is a surface phenomenon, rate of evaporation increases. So we observe this in drying the clothes. So while drying the clothes, we spread the surface area of the clothes and we dry them under sunlight. And going to temperature, so temperature is also playing an important role in the evaporation phenomenon. So evaporation increases with the increase of temperature. So by increasing temperature, the rate of evaporation increases. As more number of particles get enough kinetic energy to go into the vapor state. This is also explained by the same example that is drying up the clothes. So we dry the clothes under sunlight where the temperature is more so that the particles of water which are on the surface of the clothes gain kinetic energy and they go into vapor state so that the clothes are dried. And coming to the humidity, so humidity is nothing but amount of water vapor present in air. So evaporation increases with decreasing humidity. So decreasing humidity is nothing but the amount of water vapor is less. So the evaporation increases where the amount of water vapor is less. The atmosphere can hold a particular amount of water vapor and if the water vapor is less than that then the evaporation increases. So if the humidity is less than the particular holding capacity of the atmosphere then evaporation increases. So humidity decrease will increase the evaporation. And coming to the wind speed, evaporation increases with the increase in wind speed. So with the increase in wind speed, the particles of water vapor move away with the wind, decreasing the amount of water vapor in the surrounding. So by decreasing the amount of water vapor, we can increase the evaporation. So by decreasing the amount of water vapor, humidity is decreasing. So by decreasing the humidity, the evaporation is increasing. So this is also explained by the same example of drying up the clothes. So we can say that drying up the clothes by increasing the surface area under high temperature sunlight and in the atmosphere where humidity is less and wind speed is more, there the evaporation is higher. So in this diagram we can observe the increase of evaporation by drying up clothes. So in this diagram the example of evaporation is clearly explained. Here the cloth's surface area is increased by spreading them up and they are dried in the sunlight which has higher temperature and in the atmosphere which has decreased the humidity where humidity is less and wind speed is more. So in this area, if we dry up the clothes, then by the process of evaporation, the clothes dry very fastly.